Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to do a follow-up video uh, on my last one where I created a kiosk uh, using Ubuntu 22.04. Uh, I'll put the link in the video here for that last one if you want to see it. It is a little longer, but it gives you the in-depth as to how to get to the point where we're at now. Um, <clears throat> so for those of you who watched the last video, um, we have an Ubuntu 22.04 machine. In my case right now, I'm using a virtual machine. so um, my performance won't be as great as say something that you put on a physical machine with a GPU or proper CPU and uh, memory resources. Um, anyways, uh, in the last video I ended it with um, a browser loading at, uh, at login of the user screen. This time I will show you guys um, how to use MPV to do a loop of a video and uh, essentially that'll run indefinitely. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, in the last video, I did show everyone uh, one of the packages I installed was MPV. Um, you could use VLC or any other video playback um, application that you want. The reason I went with MPV is I found that it is fairly lightweight. Um, and quite versatile, just like VLC, so that's why I opted to go down that road. Um, <clears throat> if you're using uh, Ubuntu 22.04 like I am here, the LTS version, uh, it's already part of the repository, and I think it's even in 20.04, uh, if memory serves me correctly. Uh, so this step here wouldn't be very different. Um, if you see here in my SSH session, I'm going to go and put uh, apt get install mpv, I'm going to do dash y, that will tell it to install it right off the bat, and let that finish, and it's asking me what to restart, I don't really care what it restarts because this machine isn't doing anything else right now, so if I type mpv now, you'll see there is the, um, all the different uh, options you can have for your mpv. now. Um, there are many ways to do this. I'm going to go down the simplest method of doing this. Um, if you guys want me to show different ways or the way that I specifically do it, which is with a script, um, please put it in the comments uh, as I'm trying to tailor these videos uh, with the audience I have and, and provide, I guess, uh, the most um, bang for buck, I guess we could say. Uh, so let's go ahead and move forward here. Um, so now we have MPV installed. Uh, all we really want to do is within the auto start, if you guys remember in the last video, if you were watching that, start of applications, I already put it in here, start MPV, but you would add, in this case I'm just going to edit it. And here is the command that I use, oh, MPV space dash dash FS, and then we're going to loop, and we want to set to infinite. And, and a little, um, a neat little tool for everyone if you guys want to look at this. If you go to this link here, and I'll put it in the description just so it's easier to see, you can see, you know what, I'll bring it up here while I'm at it so you guys can see it, the whole thing. Let me do this. This tool comes really handy when you want to test your machine and how it plays back different videos and their bit rates. Let me bring up a browser here. Chromium. Let's put that in here. Oh, I'm downloading the file. I don't really want to do that. Let's go to media. Okay, so here, if you see, there are a variety. I'm going to reduce the size of that there. If you look here, there's a variety of videos you can pick from to view or to play back. So I'm obviously not going to do a 4K on this machine. And the one, I'm, I'm actually going to do the smallest one here, the 3 megabits H.264 MKV. It's still going to be choppy in this thing, and the purpose of this is just to show you that it functions. Um, I've used this on um, on Pies. I've used this on uh, Asus PN50 Nux. No problem at all. I've gone all the way up to the 4K video on the on the Nux. I haven't tested the on the Pi, although theoretically it should work. Um, if you guys have any any suggestions as to how you'd like to see me uh, display this for you guys, no problem helping you there. Um, anyways, with MPV, you can go ahead and download the file and play it locally. That would be useful if you have um, an environment where there's no internet access or 
very slow internet access. But MPV also gives it the ability to go right to the URL and play the file on the fly. So that's what I did there. I just put the full URL there and I'll put this in uh, in a text editor here so you can see it. You can pause the video if you want. But like I said, I will put this in the in the description as well. Okay. And this is, I guess, where you can pause it if you want. Uh, there's the URL of the file. You can make it your own um, wherever you're storing your, your video file. And it'll play right off of that, no problem. Now, I have noticed sometimes that can be a little... Um, it can be a little slow, so, so I do definitely recommend downloading it with, if you're going to be playing on a whole bunch of machines at the same time. Anyway, so without further ado, I'm going to close without saving. I don't need that. I'm going to go ahead and click on save here once that's in there. And let's go ahead here, and we're going to go ahead and restart the GNOME session. SystemCTL, restart, JDM3, and let's give it a second here. And there it is. Um, don't mind the spottiness of the video. That is not MPV's fault. That is just the performance of this virtual machine that I have it running on. Uh, but again, the purpose of this is just so you guys can see how you can have this kiosk running with uh, a video on loop. Um, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to put anything in the comments. Uh, like I said before, if you want to help me out with generating this content, I do have my Bitcoin wallet uh, paste in the description. Uh, anything you want to put in there is uh, um, greatly appreciated. Thank you very much and have yourselves a good day.